Angry Librarian Benny. And I'm Angry Librarian Tim. And I w we were just reading through some of the books in our collection yep. when I came across this. This is a piece of filth. You yes. know what they do in this book? They do things. Tell them. Tell they them. do terrible, terrible things. Such as... It, it talks it, bad it, about, about the British government. It questions the ethics of MI6. Accuses MI6 of various practices, which may or may not be true. Which are not true. And reveals spy tactics. And insists that the British organization is compromised by Russian spies. Now we'd like to read a, a, a portion of the book for you to show you how bad it is. As the vodka took hold, we began to talk of old times. It was an old man, but his memory was still fresh. Tears began to wet his cheeks as he told me the story of what he and Sue Pullis had done for the country. And finally, his reserve broke. So, did they ever send your pension through? Pension? What pension? I have no pension. You haven't got no pension? No. That f***ing Brit. When you <laughs> work for them, you never think about the future, about old age. You do it for love. And then when it comes time to die, they abandon you. That's beautiful. <laughs> Say, I'm Hermione Granger. <laughs> <laughs> but guess, I have a very special assignment for you. I want you to go to Russia and marry a Russian woman in order to have, to help your country have a mole within the Russian government. That won't work. Why not? I'm gay. Do you believe in your country? <laughs> no. Shut up! Quiet! Quiet, for guess. Are you mad or not? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Well, then you will do this for your country. Do you want to know why? For the queen. Now go! Where's this going to end, Peter? You sent me a paper which says that my predecessor, most likely my successor, are both spies. Have you thought it through? Have you stopped to think of the damage that will be done if, you act on, if we act on these recommendations? It'll take a decade to recover from this, even if there's nothing at the end of it. What are you thinking? We have to tell them. It's right. You understand, don't you? This is for the world. This is not just a little business situation we're talking about, okay? Look, take that guy for example, right there. Let's say he just dies. Ow! Who, who's there to blame for it? You're here to be interrogated, okay? Now, I've been reading all day about interrogation techniques. And I've heard that if you attach a snuggy light to someone's shirt, it'll make them tell the truth. Is this going to work? Say the th thing that makes me believe that it's going to work. Say something that does not mean it's not going to work going to work. Read up! Are you a Russian? Are you a Russian, Nick? No. I asked you again. Are you a Russian? Yes, I'm a Russian. You would know that, wouldn't you? Yes. Because you are a Russian. Hold this. Tip number 75. <laughs> Never ask the interrogee if they are Russian, ask them if they are a 
Russian. And I asked, and you said yes. Tip number 96,000. Just kidding. It's a joke. See, we're friends, aren't we? Remember when we had pizza earlier today? Yeah. Was that a good time? Yeah. See, that's the tip number 95. You gotta, be, you gotta be nice to your interview. Tip number 96. Don't be nice to them! <laughs> and find out the truth! Did you sell the secrets to the Russians? No. Yes, you did. <laughs> Didn't you? Third. I don't think I need to say much more than that. My ears! They burn! The phrase... The filth! Beat down. It's... You, no, 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 one. no, don't say it again. The youth must, should not hear this. They are too young. They are too young for this. On behalf of the national security Especially of the, the British niggers. government, spy catchers should be banned from circulation to avoid embarrassment and a leakage of secret information.